In this video, we're going to look at how to install the Java JDK. Now, this is a really important part for your Java programming because it essentially is the part that takes the Java code that you write and converts it into the bytecode, which can be read by the hardware in your computer. So the first thing we need to do is check if you have the Java JDK installed. The way we do that is by opening a terminal. So we can simply hit command space and type in terminal and the autocomplete will show it for us. And if we hit enter, then a terminal pops up. And so now we run the command java dash dash version. And if we hit enter here, if we look, we can see it says no Java runtime present requesting install. So simply all we do is hit more info. And then what it will do is it will take us to the Oracle website. Oracle are the owners of Java. And so we can see it says JDK here. So if we hit download, it will take us to the page to install the Java development kit, the JDK. So we just need to say we accept the license agreement. And then since I'm using a Mac, I'm going to go to the Mac download and hit download from there. And so you should see it start in the bottom left corner. It won't actually take half an hour or probably cut down. Depending on your Wi-Fi, it shouldn't take too long there. So now that that's finished downloading, we can start with the installation. So to do that, we simply just click the download. And what it will do is it will open up the JDK for us. And then it will take us on to the installation. So we double click like so. And we just go through the installation guide. So continue, install. And then what you have to do is you'll have to type in your password. So this will be your the password for your MacBook or whatever your computer password is. So I've typed that in, I'm gonna install the software. And then as we can see, it's writing all the files and installing them on our computer. Okay, so hopefully you should get a nice message like this, saying your install has been successful. So now if we close that, we don't really need the JDK installation anymore because we've already installed it. So we can happily move this to the trash. And so now if we go back to our terminal, and we type in java dash dash version again and hit enter, we should see that we have java 10.0.1. This will change depending on the installation or the version that you installed and will be dependent on how far ahead in the future you are. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful.